In this video, we'll be learning how to find the maximum and minimum points of a curve using the TI Inspire CX. Now, let's see. We're given this question in which we're told for x between negative 3 and 5, we need to find the coordinates of the maximum and minimum points of the curve y is equal to 0.1x cubed minus 0.4x squared plus 0.1x plus 0.6. Now, let's see how we do this. I'm just going to leave that equation in the right-hand corner there so we can still see it. So, to begin with, on our home screen on the TI Inspire, we start by making a new document. So we select that, new document, enter. And we're going to be looking at this, this curve, really, its graph. So we're going to select the option Add Graphs, which is the second option there. And we can see at the bottom of the, the screen here, the calculator screen, it's asking us to enter the function's equation. In other words, it's asking us to enter the curve's equation. And we're given that, that's 0.1x cubed minus 0.4x squared plus 0.1x plus 0.6. Once we're done entering that, we type enter. And there we go, we now have our, our curve. Now since if we're asked this in an exam, we're told that x is between negative 3 and 5, or rather that we only have to consider x between those two values. So just to make sure that we don't go off target, it's a good idea just to make sure that we plot the grid in between those two values of x. So to do that, we're going to change our window a bit. We press on menu, and we go to the fourth option here, which is window forward slash zoom. We now select that. And to change the values of x between which we want to see the graph, we're going to select that first option there, which is Window Settings. And the first thing it asks, asks us is the smallest x value for, what, for which we want to see the, the graph. Now it's often a good idea to go a little bit below the minimum value, so let's say negative 3.2 and the maximum value will go just a little bit above and we'll say it's 5.2 and the rest we could probably leave just as it is so once that's entered we'll press OK there we go we can now see this curve quite clearly I'll just get this equation out of the way okay now looking at this curve it seems as though it has a maximum around here somewhere here then it goes back down before going back up, which means that it must have a minimum around here. So it definitely has a maximum point and a minimum point. So to find those, we're going to select Menu, and we're going to go to the sixth option, which is Analyze the Graph. And we can see here we have two options that are exactly what we need, the minimum and the maximum. So let's just start with the maximum, so that's the third option. We press Enter and it now asks us for a lower bound. All this means is that we have to select anywhere on the screen so long as it's to the left hand, on the left hand side of the maximum point. So I'll just click here. It's now asking us for an upper bound. That just means that we have to go to the right hand side of the maximum point and click anywhere on the screen. Done. And so it's now found that maximum point and we can see that the coordinates of the maximum, it's writing those down for us and adding them to our graph, are 0 0.131 and 0 0.606. Those are the coordinates of the maximum point. Now, now that we've done that, let's try and find the minimum value. So again, we go through the same steps. We'll press on Menu and select Analyze Graph again. That's the sixth option. And this time we select minimum, which is the second option. And once again, it's going to ask us for a lower bound. So we just want to make sure we're on the left-hand side of the minimum point. Remember, the minimum point we can see is roughly around here. So let's just click here to the left of that. It's now asking us for an upper bound. So let's just go to, to the right-hand side here and click. And there you go. The calculator's just figured it out and added the coordinates to our grid here. It's 2.54 and negative 0 0.088. And so there you have it. We've just found the coordinates of the maximum and minimum point. 
the maximum point had coordinates 0 0.131, 0 0.606, and the minimum point has coordinates 2.54 and negative 0 0.088. And that's how you find the maximum and minimum points of a curve using the TI-Inspire.